Hi guys, it's Tanya and I'm here today for Little Yellow Bicycle. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Game On Collection to create a layout. Let's get started. The Game On Collection actually features four different sports, but today I'm going to show you a layout using the baseball themed items in the collection. So we're going to use these three papers. We're going to use the baseball favorite pieces. These are stickers and the chipboard shapes. The shapes have all four sports within the pack and it also has some stars, some MVP that could be used for all four sports, the all-star. So some of the pieces can be used for all four sports and some of them are sport specific. The downloadable PDF will have full instructions to create this layout but today in the video, I'm going to show you how to add some paint to the layout to make it a little bit more masculine. So those things that I'm going to show you are how to add this paint here, these circles, and all the way around the edge of the layout, you see that I brought some blue paint in. So to create these extra textures on your paper using the craft paints, you're going to need a few tools. Um, those tools are, I have an empty pill bottle here, so you can use both the bottle and the cap. Uh, I also like to use the cap on a marker. It doesn't matter what color your marker is, you're just going to be using the cap here. And then I like to look for other things in my craft area. This is a container that used to hold some seed beads. Um, so you can just take the cap off there, and it's just another different size that you can use. I'm sure you can find other things around your house that are circular that will work just fine. You'll also need some craft paint. This is just acrylic paint. These are about 50 cents to a dollar per bottle, depending on what brand you buy. And this one here is a metallic silver. There's also metallic gold that you can buy and metallic copper. So those are great masculine colors if you're scrapbooking pictures of some boys doing sports. Um, if you're doing girls, you can certainly pick up the pinks and those kind of colors too. Um, you also need just some paint brushes, it doesn't matter, it can be the cheap kind from the dollar store or it can be your expensive brushes, you just need them to brush the paint onto the lid. One other thing I wanted to show you was how to use bubble wrap to create a texture. So if you have bubble wrap, um, you'll need a piece that you have not popped the bubbles. So it's important that your bubble wrap be inflated with the bubbles. Alright, so let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is shake up your paint and then pour just a little bit onto a scrap piece of cardstock. It doesn't take much, just a pea-sized drop if you can get it that small. You're going to take your paintbrush and your lid and you're just going to paint it around the edges of the lid. It doesn't matter if you have more coverage in one area than another. And then you're just going to take that lid and use it just like a stamp right onto your paper. You're going to push it straight down and then lift straight up. And there you've created just a circle. Now the other thing I like to do is take a smaller size lid, paint right on there. And then I like to overlap the edge of the circle, just like that. So that's one easy technique that you can do stamping with paint in uh, old lids. The other thing that you can do to add paint onto your layout is take your paintbrush, put a little bit of paint on it, and just start painting the bubble wrap. Again, you're going to get more coverage on some of the bubbles than you are on others. But I think that adds to the look that we're going for on these layouts. Once you have enough of it painted, 
can see right there how much I have painted. You can paint more or less. You're just going to lay your bubble wrap onto the paper. Then you're going to use light pressure with the palm of your hand and then use your other hand to hold the bubble wrap as you lift your hand up so that it doesn't lift off the paper as you pull your hand up. And then you just peel it right up. And there I've created some metallic texture there on the paper. One last thing I wanted to show you was how I went around the edges with the blue on the entire layout. Again, shake your paint up, put a little bit onto your cardstock. And this next step is a matter of preference. I like to use my finger, some people like to use a paintbrush, but I just put the tip of my index finger right into the paint and then hold my finger at a 45 degree angle to the paper and just run it along the edge just like that and then dip again and keep going around until you have the edges of the whole layout covered and you can go back over some areas so that you get a little more paint on some spots than the other so right there you can see how there's more in the corner than here on the edge. Here's one more look at those techniques shown on the bottom of this layout. You can see over here I did the same thing in blue by stamping the lid and letting some hang off the edge. And then I stamped some other right up here in the corner and then layered that with some chipboard. So that's the end of our video for the day. You can check on the website www.mylyb.com to link over to the blog and find the full instructions in a downloadable PDF. Thank you.